Lucas Sports. Don't forget to hit the like button and share it if you're feeling the content. Shout out to President Jeff88. Alright, y'all. Some of you may call me prisoner and of the moment for what I'm about to say. But we're gonna keep it real over here. So we all know Shador Sanders, he had two good years at Jackson State, HBCU. And he's had three good games at uh, Colorado, Pac-12. First game through 500 plus yards, school record. And I guess he's been on fire these last couple of uh, three weeks. He's definitely the the talk of the college quarterbacks, him and uh, Coach Prime, his father. I'm going, I'm going to go on record saying this. Because right now, Shador got that. That Bradyness in him. He did say at the end of the game, but for you to go 98 yards and the score a few seconds left. And if y'all remember, that happened with the Celebration Bowl too last year. Uh, didn't Travis Hunter catch the the touchdown to go into overtime? So he's this isn't something new to him. But I'm going. I'm going to say this. When I first saw Shador a couple years. I mean, he'll be NFL quarterback, but now he he might <laughs> he might be he might be giving Caleb Williams a run for, a run for his money. And I've been following Caleb Williams too since he was in high school. But if Shador gets drafted and he wins a couple of Pro Bowls, as you see on the thumbnail, this has to be the best father son duel of all time. And some of y'all will argue, maybe you'll say Barry Bonds um, and Bobby and uh, uh, his dad, uh, Bobby Bonds. You might say King for Junior King if you've seen it, which that was a, a good package. Um, uh, who else they say? Um, I don't know. I. There, there's several athletes, right, where where they play, their father's real good, and maybe their son's real good, or their um, – look at Grant Hill, dad. His dad played in the field several years. Look at Grant Hill, Hall of Famer. Um, but the reason why this will be the best combo is because, A, uh, Deion Sanders, multiple-time pro bowler, multiple-time all-pro, multiple-time Super Bowl champion, and – Played professional baseball for nine years, which if he just did that alone, that's a heck of a career. But Shador plays the most important position in all of sports. Everybody knows the most, the hardest position is that quarterback. You can have anything, any other position, be in, but just like look, look at. Look at the Jets. Look how the Jets are doing. The Jets were set up for Aaron Rodgers. And they got all that talent. And uh, they're struggling right now with Zach Wilson. When that quarterback is down, that's it. It's over. This is why the league protects all their quarterbacks. This is why they change all the rules. You better not even lay two hands on that quarterback. Because if they go down, the money go down. If Patrick Mahomes goes down, the season is over. The ratings is down. If Shador goes to the NFL, he goes all pro. If he's playing like how he's playing now to the league, it's going to be the best duo ever. And I I, I want to see Bron and Bronny. I want to see Bronny make to the league. I'm going to need to make a separate video about that. But want to see Bronny make it to the league. But if Shador do this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brian. This is the best combo ever. Yeah, they didn't play at the same time. But if you're a multiple-time All-Pro and your son is killing at the quarterback in the league, heck, if Shador won the Heisman, or wow, like that that alone <laughs> put him up there. But if, he's, if he starts killing in the league, yeah, it's over. But I know it's only three games. Um, and... You're only as good as your last. So, yeah, he's had two phenomenal seasons at Jackson State, and he's had a phenomenal couple, couple seasons. I mean, a couple of games at uh, 
Colorado. So we'll we'll, we'll see. But what y'all think?